I have two brief questions I'd like to ask, if I may. Hi, welcome to Left Foot Media. My name is Brendan Malone and you're watching The Daily Question. Today's question of the day, what makes a movie universally great? Now, I don't just mean technically great or technically very proficient or technically excellent, but universally great. A film that just crosses boundaries and crosses demographics and has a timelessness to it that you can watch whether it's uh, the the day that it's released or or 20 years, 30 years, 40 years later and still connect with this film. It it is a much beloved, a universal classic. Something like uh, The Shawshank Redemption or The Godfather. What is it about these films that makes them universally great? And I think obviously at the heart of them is good mythology. I've been talking a lot about this on my channel, about the importance of mythology. And the reason mythology is so important is because it's our flawed and imperfect grasping at big questions, at big and important truths about the human experience. But what does it take to have a really good mythology in a film? A mythology that's going to make it timeless, that's going to make it a classic. Well, I think there's two keys that you need to be focused on. Number one is mysticism. And the second is morality. It's either one or maybe even both of those things that are actually going to make a film universally great and universally loved. It's not special effects. It's not fan service. It's not having the best actors. It's not having the best marketing budget. Those are things that might uh, enhance or help a film in the short term. But in order for it to really be universal, it's got to have a story Uh, that is good, that is well told, and and a good well told story is going to be uh, universally appealing to people. It's going to connect with people. It's not simply going to apply to one particular period in human history. And mysticism and morality are the keys to this because they're such fundamental aspects of the human experience. So mysticism in a film is really about meaning. It's about grasping at and seeking meaning. It's about how how characters normally find their meaning. So think about something like Star Wars and the mystical elements of Star Wars, the original trilogy, the, the, the Force. It's really something that calls to a character. It calls them out of themselves. It calls them to give themselves to something greater. It calls them to virtue, to heroism. There's something really important about that in the sense of meaning and we connect with that because every human person looks for meaning in their life. We seek out meaning and we know that without meaning that life becomes pointless and so mysticism and storytelling is really the vehicle that actually draws us to I guess examine or to think about or to connect with our own longing, our own search for meaning. The other thing is morality, and obviously morality is something that pertains exclusively to human persons. Uh, We have a moral life, and we think deeply about moral issues, and we care about ultimately being good people. We want to be known as people who do good. We are people, I think the vast majority of people do, those who don't and become disconnected with a healthy conscience, with a healthy morality would most likely probably call them psychopaths. Uh, we see the danger to, uh, to our society, to our world of, of people like that or living a life like that. And so we are drawn into our moral lives and we consider our moral lives so important. And morality and morality tales just form the heart of so many great stories, be they tragic morality tales or, or redemption or, or tales of moral greatness, you know, overcoming adversity, uh, uh, a redemption where you, where you go from being that broken, uh, sinful, unvirtuous character to, to overcoming and redeeming yourself and to becoming the sort of self-sacrificing hero. There's something truly great about those morality tales that we really connect with. Now you think about some of the mistakes that we've seen on the trajectory of the Star Wars films and you can see how the shift away from mysticism and morality tales uh, doesn't necessarily help you in any way. When you you start getting bogged down in special effects or fan service or, or political ideological messaging, you start to lose the universal greatness of your story. I mean, George Lucas even began this problem, I think, with the prequels, when he shifted the focus of what the Force actually was. It went from being the, this mystical thing to being this materialistic thing, where it was about metachlorians, you know, and, and we could measure it, we could do a scientific measurement, we could gauge, you know, it was basically it was this biological sort of imperative. 
And, and that really undermined, I think, the greatness of the mythology. And then the subsequent films did even more damage in that regard in the way that they treated what was a once great mythology. At least Lucas with the prequels, there was still a morality tale there. Now, he may have messed up a bit with the whole mysticism, but there's no doubt there's a morality tale that is very present uh, in those prequels. And, and it's about that fall from grace and about that loss of virtue in the life of Anakin Skywalker. And it resonates with people. So if you're able to get past the, the, the sort of technical difficulties and the storytelling problems in the prequels, there is still something. I think that's why so many people still connect with the prequels. It's certainly not about special effects, and it's not about fan service. It's about the fact that there is something compelling beyond the story itself. There is something universally true about the human experience, about morality, which pertains to all of us, that, that, that people actually find themselves connecting with and, and willing to still give those prequels a chance. And when you think about a film like The Shawshank Redemption, one of the greatest movies ever made, there's no doubt, again, that mysticism and morality lie at the heart of that story. That search for truth, for beauty, for goodness, that call to a sense of meaning is very much present in that film. So is morality, the whole question of justice and the way in which Andy has been treated in such an unjust way and he finds himself, this innocent man, being treated with such injustice but in the process is able to, to encourage other men around him in that awful situation to begin their own quest to act in a more just way or to find justice themselves. There's something really beautiful about that tale and I think that's why it's so universal to us. We just connect with this because regardless of who you are or what period of human history you live in, there is something true and good about the human experience that you see played out on screen when you watch The Shawshank Redemption. So that's the key. If, if you want a great mythology in your film, if you want to tell good stories, don't become obsessed with materialism. It's not about special effects. It's not about fan service. It's not just about clever gimmicks and tricks. It's actually about mysticism and morality, about that search for meaning about morality and the moral life and what it means to live a good moral life because again that goes to the question of meaning and also legacy, the kind of legacy that you're going to end up leaving behind you. Will you be remembered as a psychopath who has destroyed the world in your wake or will you be remembered as a truly good person who has made the world better and has left a legacy that everyone looks up to and longs to imitate themselves. As per usual I'd love to hear your thoughts so please let me know what you think in the comments section below and if you like the content I'm creating and you like to see more of it then please support me on Patreon or PayPal. There's a link for both in the description below. That's right I can hear my theme music too. I'll see you tomorrow on The Daily Question.